As you may have experienced, shuffling is a very fast dance and requires a lot of cardio endurance and keeping up with all the moves at high speed might be difficult sometimes, especially at the beginning. So I'm going to explain you how can you get up to speed and start shuffling faster once for all. Hi, it's Marvik. I've been shuffling since 2014 and teaching it professionally since 2018. And the most common reason why many people struggle to keep up with the speed in shuffling is because they lack control over the stomping movement. We're going to do a couple of exercises to take over the stomp. So obviously the first one is analyzing the stomp. The knee is going up and down and it's going up and down fast. Now let's get moving. So we're going to start doing the stomp. Yeah, we're going to do a stomp at a pace that we can keep up with. Yeah, so in that case, one, two, three, four, that's an example, six, seven, eight. And once we get the speed we want, right, that we follow with the stomp, we're going to merge the stomp with any step we want. So when we're stomping, we can, for example, go into a running man or be here and go into a T-step. So now just start stomping, yeah? One, two, three, four, and in the eight, we're going to merge it with the step. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one, two, three, Four. Now T step five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So doing the stomping before starting is going to help you to get the pace, like feel the rhythm that you're going to be following. You can do the stomp with one leg only. You can be switching and do one stomp with each leg, alternating it. The thing is that at the beginning, when we don't master the speed yet, it's very useful to find this speed, this space, right before starting dancing. And this has worked extremely well with many of my students, so I recommend you that you follow also this exercise. And if you're trying a faster speed and you can't keep up with the pace, nor even for four counts or eight counts, just try a little bit slower BPM. And now, what is BPM? I mentioned it several times in the video, and it stands for beats per minute. So basically, the BPM is the speed of a song, and you can use this metric to see which speed can you reach or which speed are you at right now when practicing. And for helping you manage your trainings with the speed, I'm going to show you an app. So I'm going to take my phone out. And as you see, I have this app here. It's called Music Speed Changer. So I'm going to open it. You can find this app in both Google Play Store and App Store. In Android, you won't have any problem loading the tracks or managing the MP3 files. But in iOS, as many of you know, handling MP3 files is a bit of a headache. So we're clicking in the lower menu in Files. We're clicking on Import. And now I have here a series of music prepared, so I'm going to download them. To be able to import files into this app, you'll need to have the music on your iCloud. So in that case, I have here uh, the six songs uh, in this folder I created named Tutorial. So I'm going to import them one by one. So I'm going to load this first song right now. Whoops. And here in settings, I want you to go to uh, configure custom and have these four things, tempo, pitch, link, tempo and pitch and waveform, okay? So what you need to have is link, tempo and pitch off. So if you put it on, when you change the speed, the music is going to change its tone. We're switching that off so when we slow the tempo of the song, the tone of the song will match the original. In Android, you can have a line where it tells you the BPMs and you can even type the BPMs you want to change the song to. But in iOS, that's not available. I don't know why, but in Android, know that you can have uh, show the BPM of the song. But here, for example, this song is 118 BPMs. Maybe you can't even go directly to dance. So try this speed. You go to play. Now you want to follow this pace, yeah? So you stomp to this pace. This is 118. Now try to keep up dancing. As I said, imagine you can't get to this speed. What you're going to do is drag the tempo bar down, maybe to 90%. This would take the song down to 107 BPMs. So now let's play it again. Now we see that the pace is so much lower. Yeah, so we go with the stomp. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so you can play just dragging this tempo bar and adjusting it to the speed you're comfortable with or that you can get to. And doing this will help you keeping up with the same speed because the music is going to play as it was normal, just a little bit slower. You can do this with slower songs or with faster songs. Now imagine the opposite side. You already got the speed, but you want to get to very high speed. So I'm going to load this last song here, which is 150 BPMs. So I'm going to play the drop right now. 
that's 150, yeah? So the stomp is this speed. And dancing. Is this space. So imagine you can do 128, 130, but you can't get to 150 and maintain it. So what you can do is come here, drag the tempo bar down. Let's do 10% again. This in Android, if you tap the show BPM, it's telling you which BPMs are you at. So you can try 130, then 135, 140, 145, and then get to 150. But here you have to kind of calculate mentally, but more or less just listen to the music, Try it and see which speed can you keep up with. So if we play this at 90%, it's going to be 135 BPMs. So we're trying it again. That's 135, yeah? Now imagine, you, can, you want to go a little bit faster, 95. So that's seven and a half BPMs more. So that's 142. So we're playing again. So just do this kind of exercises with this app. It's very useful, it's very easy to do. The app is free, so I recommend you to download it. It's not a sponsored, it's just an app that I've used for a very long time. And it's very useful for me when I'm with students that are learning how to shuffle and they want to try speeds. But all the music tends to be quite fast for them. So I just slow them down and they can practice with the song, but in a slower pace. Speed will come with practice. So what you have to do is put in the hours and if you practice often and if you do it for a very long time, you're going to get to a point where you're going to internalize it and it's going to be already inside of you. So when you listen to the music, you are going to go to the speed that the music is at automatically. Once you get that speed, if you keep practicing, you won't lose it if you dance oftentimes. So be patient, get to practice and have fun trying to reach your speed limit. You'll see that once you get a speed and you start being comfortable with it, you're going to be able to push it every time even more. Now to finish this video, I'm going to show you how to shuffle to different BPMs. So let's go, let's do some dancing. If you want to learn more shuffle steps, click in this playlist right here. I hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.